Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with exponential expressions. We have 2 to the power x equals 7 to the power y equals 196. And we are going to evaluate x, y over x plus y for these x and y values. So we are finding a numerical value at the end. Now I'll be presenting three methods and I will start with the first one. What is the first method? The first method uses logarithms and it's a little painful. Well, not necessarily. Maybe sometimes people find the first method easier than others. It just depends, I think. But I'm going to start by setting 2 to the power x equal to 196. By the way, 196 is 14 squared. Therefore, you can write it as 2 squared times 7 squared. Having said that, let's go ahead and write it. x equals log 196. I'm using base 2 here. And 196 can be written as 2 squared times 7 squared. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and write x as 14 squared, log of 14 squared, of course. And then let's go ahead and kind of put the 2 in the front. I mean, either way you can write, it doesn't really matter, but I think this is a little better. So I'm going to move the 2 to the front and inside I'm going to have log 14. Now log 14 can be broken down into log 2 and log 7. Of course, I'm always using base 2 here, needless to say, right? So now log 2 in base 2 is going to be 1. So this is 1 because when those numbers are equal, it's always 1. So now from here, we get something like this. x equals 2 times 1 plus log 7 in base 2. Awesome. And you can go ahead and distribute if you want, but I'm going to leave it like that for now. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with y. I have... I have... 7 to the power y equals 196. From here, y equals log 196, but this time it is in base 7. Great. Let's go ahead and write 196 as 14 squared, and then move the 2, and we're going to get log 14. And now log 14 can be broken down into log 7 and log 2, but they're both in base 7. So this is y. Now log 7, 7 is just, you know, however you want to read it. It is just 1. This is 1, right? So we get y equals 2 times the quantity 1 plus log 2 base 7. Awesome. So that is my x value. This is my x value. And this is my y value. And now we're going to go ahead and plug it in. xy over x plus y. Now, what is x? What is y? Let's go ahead and plug it in. x is 2 times 1 plus log 7, base 2. And y is 2 times 1 plus log 2, base 7. And then at the bottom, we're going to just going to, we're just going to add them. So like this, plus this. Okay, I'm going to simplify this next. When you multiply the top and the bottom, uh, well, first of all, let's do across the top. You're going to get 2 times 2 equals 4. And now we're just going to go ahead and write it like this. And what I can do is I can actually go ahead and distribute this. So why not do that right now? So let's go ahead and distribute. We're going to get 1 times 1, 1 times log 2, 1 times log 7, and then log 2, 7, and log 7, 2. I'll tell you what it is in a little bit. That's very, uh, that's a common method, uh, you know, identity. So now you can take out the 2 here and write this as this plus this. So that's going to be like 2 plus this plus this. Awesome. So far so good. We have a 2 and a 4. We can kind of cancel out and end up with a 2 here. Now, here's one thing I want you to notice. This one and this one are reciprocals. Why? Because if you use the change of base, you'll notice that this can be written as ln7 over ln2. And the other one can be written as ln2 over ln7. Anyways, no matter what you do, these two are reciprocals. Therefore, their product is going to be 1. But there's another one here, so they're going to be 2. So here's what I have. 2 times 2 plus this plus this divided by 2 plus this plus this. 
and that this and with this they're going to cancel out and the answer is going to be two wow that was crazy second method my second method basically uses exponentials so let's take a look at the second method 2 to the power x equals 196 i'm going to write it as 2 squared 7 squared and from here by setting these equal to each other i'm going to be able to divide both sides by 2 squared and that's going to look like this all right and that means 2 to the power x minus 2 is 7 squared. So that's one of the equations that I'm going to be using. And for the other one, y to the power y is 196, which is 2 squared, 7 squared. From here, 7 to the y divided by 7 squared is going to be 2 squared. And if you do, uh, use the uh, power rules or exponents, whatever, y to the power y minus 2 is just going to be 2 squared. So I have like two equations that I can use, but the question is, how can I use them, right? Well, here's what I, can, what I can do. I can go ahead and isolate one of these numbers. For example, how about isolating 7 here? Uh, raise both sides to the power 1 half. So 7 is going to equal 2 to the power x minus 2 divided by 2. And let's go ahead and substitute that here. And let's see what we're going to get. We're going to get something super duper nice. So I have 2 to the power x minus 2 over 2, which replaces the 7, and raise it to the power y minus 2, and that's going to equal 2 to the second. Notice that we have the same base now, so we can go ahead and multiply the exponents. That's going to be like x minus 2, y minus 2, divided by 2 equals 2 to the second. Raise both sides to the second power, so you can get rid of the fraction. And now this gives me 2 to the power x minus 2, y minus 2 equals... 2 to the power 4. And since the bases are equal, exponents are equal. So we can safely say that x minus 2 times y minus 2 is equal to 4. And if you distribute this, you're going to get something amazing. Let's go ahead and do it. This kind of, this should remind you, Simon, x, y minus 2, x minus 2, y plus 4 equals 4. 4 cancels out. We end up with a 0. From here, I can go ahead and isolate x, y and put the 2x and 2y on the other side. And then I can go ahead and take out a 2 and then divide both sides by x plus y, having uh, given that, having been given that x plus y is not equal to 0. You can kind of guess that. x, y over x plus y is equal to 2, and that's what I was looking for. That brings us to the end of the second method and to the beginning of the third method. The third method is going to use an amazing approach because it's going to use a very direct approach. So let's take a look. So this is what I have, right? From here, I can do the following. Raise both sides to the power 1 over x. 2 becomes 196 to the power 1 over x. And the second one, same thing, raise both sides to the power 1 over y. You get y equals 196 to the power 1 over y. Now, why did I do this? Because I'm looking for x, y over x plus y. And I can get that by adding 1 over x plus 1 over y, maybe. Or I can get something like that. So this is kind of like a system. Let's go ahead and multiply these two equations. What is 2 times 7? Come on, everybody knows that. It's 14, right? And we get 196 to the power 1 over x plus 1 over y. But 14 is the square root of 196, which can be written as 196 to the power 1 half. But that is equal to 196 to the power 1 over x plus 1 over y. What is that supposed to mean? It means 1 over x plus 1 over y is equal to 1 half. Isn't that beautiful? That's kind of like a Diophantine equation, but I don't care. Let's make a common denominator. x plus y over xy is equal to 1 half. What am I looking for? Hmm. I'm looking for xy over x plus y, and it's just the reciprocal of what I have. Great. So let's go ahead and reciprocate both sides on flip or whatever you want to call that, and we get the answer xy over x plus y equals 2. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.